Hey guys, quick vlog. What are the three steps to becoming a freelance web designer, web developer? Number one, you gotta learn your foundation programming. That is the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript. Once you get those three down, what you have to do is then build a profile website, a website of your own. It's kind of like your calling card or your business card or your brochure. You have to have a website because if you're gonna sell yourself as a professional web designer, you should have at least a decent looking website. So you learn your basics. Just with my HTML and CSS course, you'll be able to build pretty much any type of design that you see on the web. And when you get to that stage, you gotta put up some sort of site. So again, so people have a place to see. And then the next step is to go out there and talk to a local business or somebody who's starting a new business and do a simple project for free. It could be building a site from scratch. It could be building, uh, installing a WordPress template and configuring it and, and making sure it looks good and everything works well. Just something simple. And the reason you're gonna do the first one for free, it's kind of like your stash. You know, a lot of people will go to boot camps and spend five, 10, $20,000 because they, they wanna get into a stash because the boot camp will say, you, are, you pay us 20, 10 grand and we'll get you a stash at some sort of company. Now the thing is, you don't need to pay a boot camp for that, you can just do it yourself. So you learn your foundation skills, your HTML and your CSS, and just with those two, you put up your site and then you go to local business and say, I wanna do something, I wanna build a site for you, or I'll help modify or upgrade your WordPress, whatever it is. And of course, you're not gonna know everything getting into it the first time, that's normal. That's normal. Professional developers, even with pe people who have a lot of experience, will continuously be learning new things as they go through the job. That's actually part of the job. And that's why I emphasize those foundational principles and skills in the courses. Anyway, so you put up your site, then you go see small business owners, say, I'll do your site for free. It's free training. You don't have to pay the boot camp $10,000 to get a job working for somebody for free for training. And you, you may have to do one or two small jobs, small gigs, working for small businesses, just to learn the back and forth. So you start learning how to budget your time, you start learning how to communicate with, uh, with clients, uh, just understanding the process. And once you've done one or two, you're gonna feel very comfortable about uh, building sites for people. And uh, then you'll be able to go out there and then start getting real paid gigs. At first, they start off where you're making less because you're not as productive, you're not as good. But with every project that you do, you're gonna be able to make more money because you're gonna work faster and the quality of your work is gonna be better right off the bat. It leads to something else that I, people ask a lot about. They say, how do you become, you go from beginner intermediate. How do you go from beginner intermediate to becoming an expert web designer developer? Is it doing a special course? No, it's actually building projects. That's the key to modern development is you learn your basics, you learn your foundations, and then you get out there and you start actually building things and you learn on a need to nerd basis. This has been my experience over 20 years now. I hire web developers all the time and I was a freelancer for many years and I could tell you just this is the way it works and this is the quickest way to getting there where you start making a lot of money. Now, once you've picked up your first couple of clients, at first it's a little slow when you're starting off as a freelancer, you may get one here, one there, a little bit of space in between, that's okay, that's normal, but what you'll see all of a sudden, you're getting all kinds of clients, too many clients, you, don't, you, don't know, you will not know what to do with them. Very common as well. So what you have to do from the first clients you get, even the free one, you have to start developing something called workflows. These are ways of working that will maximize your time, which will multiply the effectiveness, the effectiveness of your time. So you make a lot more money for your time. So there's no question, successful freelancers, after reasonable period of time, depends on how hard you work, how lucky you are and stuff like this, but you'll be making much more as a freelancer than you would be working for somebody. Not that there's anything wrong with working for somebody because there's a solid job, you get your paycheck, it's a high paid, you're highly respected in that work, but it, you don't have that, that huge potential. Remember, if you're being paid, I'm just gonna pull a number here just to keep it uh, it depends where you live, how much you're gonna get paid per hour, right? 
If you're in India, it's one thing. If you're in Russia, it's another thing. In the U.S., it's another thing. If you're in California, it's, it's one thing. If you're in Wyoming, it's another price, right? That being said, so let's say you're being paid thirty dollars the hour. You're paying being paid sixty grand a year as a web designer. Well, your boss is going to have to bill you out. Is going to have to make hundred and twenty grand a year just to make money with you. That's the way it goes. We won't get into all the details here. So think about that. If you're doing your own work for your own clients, you don't have to pay yourself six, uh, thirty dollars the hour, right? Which is sixty grand a year. You have to pay, You have. You can. You can make that hundred and twenty for yourself. Anyway, that's another story. We'll get into that when we get into freelancing a bit more. So there you go. Those are the three steps. Learn the basic skills: HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Those are really good. Go out there, put up a site, then talk to local businesses, start doing jobs, do the first one or two for free just to learn the craft, which a big part of it is working with the clients and managing a project. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.